Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just gonna be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. on that bell. Welcome to Heat Wave. My name is Michelle Belcher, and I'm joined with Brittany Satter. At the hip. And <laughs> all over the phone we have Jairus Mitchell. I'm Jairus, and I'm not on the phone. <laughs> And it's the Hutch. I am dialing for my rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> it has a really long cord stretched all the way from the kitchen. If you would like yeah, to reach yeah. Hutch, please please press <laughs> four. <laughs> Perfect. Um. Beep. So. <laughs> Why, I'm <laughs> Hutch. I'm so happy that we got a hold of Hutch. It's really hard right. to get a hold of him nowadays. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's very a busy important. Man. He's a I'm very slippery. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. I was going to go with you're important and therefore not always available, but you decided to go with, yeah, I'm constantly greased up. <laughs> greased up, ready to go. Exactly. So, uh, speaking of greased up, uh, uh. Hutch slipped right into our uh, our movie night this last week, about halfway through the film. Grease? We had to pause it, and for him... Were you watching Grease? Yes, we yes. were. Oh, oh okay. no, it was Turtle Wax, actually, uh, for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But no, it was a really fun movie. And if you would like to Michelle, join us this me. upcoming week, I and that's what I that's my job. Uh, <laughs> but I will not mislead the rest of you at home. If you'd like to join the Heat Discord and join us every Friday to watch uh, a movie along with the rest of the team, come by and hang us out. There's a link below. Don't invite randos. I you know what? <laughs> Don't Jeez. invite randos into our living room. Inviting <laughs> total randos. <laughs> This Brittany, first of all, will literally well. everyone who watches this is someone we know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I like it. I only make this for friends and family. <laughs> it saves all of us a lot of time checking in with people. We just send them a YouTube link. Uh, you know, it totally work, uh, worked because I came out to everybody this past week. And... And I literally just sent everyone that video. Like I, I came out to my parents. They found me on Twitter. My Did mom was like, "Michelle, send them a video." And I just, the- yeah, I just sent them the video. And when I called my mom and dad later, they're like, "We watched your up. video." <laughs> yeah, you know. Did they like and subscribe? Was, yeah, they they did not. Did they? Uh, they sign don't have out YouTube accounts. Link Michelle now. I hope so. <laughs> my dad was really confused because he was just like. Well, I guess you, uh, all I got was that you really want boobs. And I was like, that, that's, well, that's one of the aspects that's that, true. Thank that is part of it, yes. <laughs> also, everyone likes boobs. Yeah, yes. who doesn't? As a child, I had a boy, friend. I have boobs. Not good ones. So, well, mine aren't good either, so it's cool. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, just an update. My boss just texted me. It was like, hey, if anybody is interested with coming into packing, we're going to start bringing two extra people in. Uh oh. And I said, me. <laughs> and all exclamation with an exclamation point. <laughs> so I, I had to take this text because he sent it to everybody on the shipping team, mm-hmm, contractors mm-hmm. and everybody. And I was like, no, me. <laughs> me. Me. Barkley, um, I like how you're uh, operating under the assumption that the rest of your coworkers aren't high or drunk right now, and that oh, your coworkers they're... one know where their phones are, uh, <laughs> can find them, and are in a stable enough state of mind to respond. Oh yeah, that's why I immediately responded. So it is currently two thirty p.m. They all are sleeping right now because oh, I know all my coworkers <laughs> are garbage and they sleep from like seven a.m. to like four p.m. Yeah, <laughs> that, she says. Th- so that wasn't a classist <laughs> statement on any of ours part. We're not like besmirching people or anything. We all personally know these humans, and they're just raccoons. <laughs> They're human oh yeah, one hundred percent garbage boys. <laughs> My I mean, favorite that, thing is that's, that's me depending on the the uh, the a given weekend. Yeah, <laughs> uh, me and Brittany woke up yesterday at what two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, it yeah, was probably so. like one or two. <laughs> it was Steph also and I Saturday, were up at so nine I yesterday. Why? I justified uh. sleeping in so late because it was Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Jairus, why don't you tell us what we're talking about this week? 
So as to like just just Babe Ruthing this baseball hit. Um shitting in the pool again. Shitting in the pool again. <laughs> um since this first section will be going out on 420 Blaze. Oh what everybody memes <laughs> lights up brighten your day. Like there are a lot there are a lot of like played out shitty memes. Like that that mm. meme that's been around for seven fucking million years and but still, just every time you see it, you're like, oh, yeah, business cat. I, I think that's <laughs> funny still. I love business cat. I will go first to set the stage. Steamed ham memes. Oh, like you just you just. So, uh, Jaris, I thought we were having not, hamburgers. I never got the steamed ham memes. So I, I don't well, I have a deep and profound love for like the weird ass remixes. Like 80% mm-hmm. of my YouTube search history is uh, the, the uh, in quotes, but it's to capture all of mm-hmm. the uh, steamed hams, but it's a David Lynch movie or Old Town Road, but it's Nickelback. Mm-hmm. Like all yep. of that kind of conceptual mashup stuff just re- like resonates with my existence. And I like when... Uh, a meme will become a meme and then quickly spiral into madness. Oh, mm. yeah. Um, oh, that's definitely that one. Yeah. Uh, so our good friend, uh, the Skipper 1995, <laughs> that's his favorite meme. Mm. And uh, he nonstop sends me post about it. <laughs> and if I see anything that has anything to do with something I love, like Animal Crossing, for example, there's a lot of steamed ham Animal Crossing rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we const that's pretty much our friendship right now is talking about that and Mega Man. My favorite memes are the ones that combine like you have to know another meme in order to get this one. Oh, it's like layers. Yeah. I have an example I can send you guys afterwards. Okay. Well and one for the thing. Yeah, well, why don't you tell us about it? It's because it's a well, podcast. I, I don't remember it. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm bad at like audio only jokes <laughs> no that's um that that's that's why i was kind of uh debating against doing this uh because yeah it is very, well you guys we'll, we'll provide memes visual. that we can insert yeah, just, post yeah you can send them here send them to me i will put them in it'll be an editing job but that's fine it, it was like what a, you know so like toy story what he says there's a snake in my boot mm-hmm. and then it's uh it it was that plus it was the guy the anime guy who's like is this a moth mm-hmm. and so he's holding up um <laughs> no, it's, no, it's that's from the magic school bus <laughs> so oh is it <laughs> yes carlos i think is his name <laughs> <laughs> so it was like woody's or no it was a snake over that guy's face and then he was holding up a boot and then it was something else with the guy was like it's free real estate and then like it all like it all went together so it was like the snake was asking the boot like is this free real estate basically um like it was like three different memes combined together and i, I will definitely we like communicate complicated ideas in the future is by just yeah. portmanteauing memes, just like putting, <laughs> smashing it all together and and causing existential dread in other people. So I just found out right now in this moment that that guy who thinks that the butterfly is a moth, I thought that was tuxedo mask. What? <laughs> <laughs> it does too? look very it does look very Sailor Moonish. Yeah. Um there is another meme where Sailor Moon and her friends are like getting attacked by moths and mm-hmm. they're like, What are these things? Yeah. So that so was like I put two and two. There together. was like a trinity of cartoons that were like didn't know what forest what creatures were, were yeah. and they were like, What are these? Um so <laughs> what I just, are those? I just sent y'all uh the first steamed ham like this was my entry point into steamed hams. Because of that whole okay. but it's. Uh, so it's the steamed hams audio, but it's mixed with uh, feel good ink from the gorillas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, no. Steamed clam melting on a bed. Steamed ham despite your girl ravages. Steamed clam soup in the cold. Steamed ham. Steamed ham. 
And there was something just in my brain that like that allowed the meme to intersect with where I was at with my life. <laughs> um, I, one of, uh, and then jumping back to, uh, Brittany's point, one of my favorite things in the world is the, is this a butterfly? I, I saw one that was, is this a butterfly guy? But the text said, is this a meme? And that's like a mm. level of recursive meta humor <laughs> that just really excites <laughs> me and makes me chortle forever. <laughs> Yeah, I do love the meta memes. My, mm. I, uh, the meta meme that I have the most fun with was the Arthur Fist. Yeah. The Arthur Fist just pops up in a billion different things. Yeah, my favorite one was someone actually like cross-stitched slash uh, embroidered one. Mm -hmm. And it was like when you realize that embroidery has been known as like women's work and not taken seriously as an art form mm -hmm. and it was like yeah, the, the Arthur, Arthur fist. fist and it was all embroidered it was really awesome <laughs> My, mm -hmm. <laughs> which which actually goes to a meme that I made with that um, I made a meme of the art I made an Fucking Arthur Fist off. embroidery with our embroidery machine yeah and uh, it was uh, it got fucked up. The yeah. needle. Uh, just I never could successfully get that Arthur fist done. Mm -hmm. So I made a meme out of a half finished one. It's just <laughs> yeah. like when the embroidery machine keeps breaking up when, while you're trying to make a meme post. Yeah. And it, it was actually pretty. It was pretty good. It was beautiful. <laughs> I loved it. I so I uh, prefer the um, so. These are both kind of the same thing, but the Vince McMahon meme slash the expanding <laughs> yeah. brain meme. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Like, because they both just build yes. up to levels of absurdity with whatever mm. the fuck's going on, and it's so wonderful if it's done, ex <laughs> it's, if it's executed right. I like the Vince the McMahon one has been one. super on point right now because uh, he just got hired as one of our economic advisors. Yeah, I don't even know what to so, say about that. So not to get political here, but people have been really using that meme very well right now because <laughs> Not of that. to get too political, but he is the epitome of a human garbage can. <laughs> It's fair. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? one, if you do even the most surface level <laughs> oh, investigation God. into, like, the practices of the WWE, um, it's fucking bad. They're all contractors and none of them have health insurance. <laughs> Jeez. So Hi. contractors and none of them have health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> so they're I'm, all I knew. contractors <laughs> and none of them have health insurance when um, i brought this up i was like hmm jaris is gonna go on a tirade about the wwe yeah. they're all <laughs> contractors <laughs> and none of them not a single one of them have health insurance provided by wwe you know the yep. place where they go to get kicked in the head and thrown that downstairs insane that they don't have health insurance yeah. working there yeah. like what right yeah they're that contractors they're not actually employees oh and they, and i know all that people make this joke all the time but i literally cannot tell when things are real anymore or when things are satire like yeah. Yeah. i was in the middle of like working pretty heavily i was sewing masks i was listening to like a podcast and i was deep in my work i take off my headphones and turn around and i'm like hey michelle what's up and and she's like oh uh, Vince mcmahon is supposed to fix our economy now and i was like <laughs> okay <laughs> and yeah. i just put my headphones back on and turned around <laughs> so i was like i don't know so there are now two this. mcmahons in in federal government linda mcmahon <laughs> yeah. is the administrator of small business administration his wife yep. yes who apparently was born in New Bern. Which I what? She's was not, not also born she in New Bern. She doesn't know anything <laughs> about small... Mm, well, Betsy DeVos doesn't know anything about education, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah exactly. I think That's I could do it. just how this administration's I, gone. Yeah. I own an Etsy. I bet I could do it. <laughs> really, what this administration has shown me is that I need to expand my dreams um, and get over my imposter syndrome. Because, right? like, I've been saying for years that nobody knows what they're doing and everyone's just guessing. But that goes all the way up and all the way down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to update my resume immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good enough to be, like, president of Guam or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did uh, model you in in high school, so I think I got this. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got my vote. I'm going to write you in. Perfect. <laughs> right. I played some Warhammer 40k with some friends of ours, so like I'm, I think I could probably be president. Yeah. That takes a lot of organization. Yeah, so yeah. I think you could. 
you got you got my vote. I want you on my team. <laughs> Brittany, have you ever led a, a, Although, a World of Warcraft guild? I haven't. Okay. But I probably could. <laughs> so I I know some humans who are some form of uh, sketchy military analysts, um, mm-hmm. but they're like private contractors. Um, and to blow off steam, they raid in World of Warcraft <laughs> And they build it intricate <laughs> spreadsheets and detailed strategy maps and run like hard and heavy analysis. Like they don't give a fuck about World of Warcraft. They just need more numbers to crunch and feel excited about. <laughs> That's that sounds about that right, is to be honest. Amazing and terrifying at the same time. That's it's what I've like, heard about Eve Online players. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're just they're mm-hmm. just spreadsheet junkies. And now I imagine there are Python libraries that just plug into Eve Online's endpoints and just do all of the things you need to do. So that is exactly how it works. Uh one of my coworkers does that. Mm. Wow. Um uh, one of my co- one of my coworkers learned Python to do that. <laughs> Fucking nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. I I do know a nerd who his like he has two kids now, uh, and Michelle used to work with him. Uh, oh, okay. But uh, he his wife banned him from Eve Online, and when he's been very good, she'll give him like two months worth of Eve Online time. Wow! Because I hate it. <laughs> he disappears into that game, and I think he learned enough to do like stock shit effectively. Like, <laughs> wow! <laughs> now I mean, he does cybersecurity, complete- and uh, like I don't know, <laughs> fucking. Nerds. And never said I would get anywhere with these games. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, one of our good friends actually used a stock trading game to get good at stock trading and now huh. his his entire job his entire job is he is the financial forecaster for Wells Fargo is this 88 <laughs> percent and counting um I, th- I don't know um, I don't know what guy, the game was. It was a counting no, no. plus. No, that <laughs> podcast episode from our old podcast, That Guy's House. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that guy. Yeah, it was that guy. I'd be interested to try that game. Do you remember the name of it? I can find him. I can ask him. All right, link in the description. Yeah, well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Stocks are fun, is what it's called. <laughs> yeah. No, because I, like, I'm... <clears throat> Because I work now's a great time to buy. Because I work for a company that allowed employees to purchase stock, I have money that exists in the stock market. Not a, not mm-hmm. like an impressive amount, not like anything that is real, but I'd like to fuck yeah. around with it because it's just gambling and also gamification. <laughs> so I actually lost uh, no excuse me. I, I put a ton of money into Nintendo right before the Wii. And mm. I made uh I made five thousand dollars turn nice. into uh thirty five thousand dollars. So um yeah, it works if you just plan ahead and do the, choose the right stock. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, and also I, I, like stick in your wheelhouse and whatever. Welcome to financial advice yeah. with heat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this turn for we'll memes. go to a finance corner. That's because memes are the foundations of real things in our life. <laughs> That's true. They're like hyperbolic extensions of our feelings, and it's a way for us to connect with other human beings. So, Brittany, Brittany, <laughs> right, Doctor Brittany. <laughs> That's right. I'm Doctor Brittany. Meme paper. Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany literally spends the last couple of hours of her like conscious day yeah. looking at memes. Yeah, I collect <laughs> memes, and they are specifically like cataloged. Like, which friend would love this meme the most? Mm. And I save them, send them out, and then after I've sent them out, they're deleted because I want to keep it fresh. <laughs> yeah, they're um. Yeah, I one I like that mental exercise. The okay. This is a thing that I find really funny. And then there's like this mental math that happens where it's like, okay, whose sense of humor lines up in this direction with mine? Like, Mm -hmm. who is the person that would grok this meme? Uh, And then that's a good feeling when you get that ha -ha back. Yeah. And then if there's one that's like a general, like everyone would love this meme, I'll just post that on like Twitter or Facebook or something. Mm. 
So uh, I like that we 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 went, <laughs> we went from memes to financial discussions to government to psychology <laughs> of memes. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> the fuck do you expect? <laughs> I'm just I saying mean, we ran like, the gambit. <laughs> gambit. I feel like eventually there will be like a like meme, gambit. a class on memes in college or something. Yeah, oh. and like I the way that we communicate, some. the way we communicate with each other through memes. Oh. I'll go ahead and give us another five minutes because I feel like we got some yeah. we got some meeting on this. Um, oh. So I'm going to go super nerd first... for a second. Um, <clears throat> uh huh. So like. Uh, linguistic theory is all about like the understanding that when I say words, I have a thing or concept that I'm trying to communicate to the people listening to it. So I'm going to use my mm-hmm. mouth sounds and go like bah, 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 and hope that that structure of words or that structure of which act as like a, a proxy for the mental image that I have, travel through space, <clears throat> hit your ears, hit your brain, and gets converted back into that image. So it, like mm-hmm. there, there's a point to be made that memes are actually, in some ways, like a, a, an equally valid form of communication um, and a might even be a quicker way to... to communicate yeah, a thought. I agree with that. I, I feel like I've heard Anthony Fantano make this argument a long time ago because he was uh, validating uh, memes as the best form of advertising the uh, the product of music in the music industry. Hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, because I, it, they work way better than any other advertisement <laughs> form for mm-hmm. music besides the music itself. Well, think about how Rebecca Black has made probably mm-hmm. a disgusting amount of money because Friday was such a fucking joke that people went and listened to it a bajillion and a half times on YouTube. Yeah. Hutch. Hutch. <laughs> Specifically <laughs> Hutch. Yeah, I'm calling him out. Her, her and everything that that dude that... Anyway. <laughs> Michelle, if you, have, if you can remember the name of that video... And send it to me. I, I'd be interesting uh-huh. interested to watch it because that's yeah. Like F- one, Fantano's got some good stuff on it. I love Fantano, and um, that's that's really interesting. Yeah, uh, it's pretty old, but I'll see, I'll see if I can look it up. It's on his uh, side channel, Fantano, not on the Needle Drop. Hold on, um, hold on, just a second, y'all. Okay, we're holding on. Apparently, holding on. Uh, Every now and then I get a... I forgot the words. Damn it. Wow. <laughs> You're not a fan. I know. <laughs> I am disappointed. So one of the things that um, really excites me about everything that we're talking about right now, though, is the fact that um, we no longer have to use words to communicate half the time. Yeah, we can just use like images or like a f- certain format, yeah. and you already like can put the pieces together. There's like three or there's like f- three to five people that I don't talk to on Discord in any other way than sharing memes. Yeah, we have a whole channel for it, thankfully, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but we that's literally the only time I talk to those people. Mm-hmm. So. Which is pretty great. I actually, uh, it's one of my favorite I things. I feel like you can use memes in a way to kind of break the ice, too. Like, if you want to talk to somebody, maybe you don't really know what to say to them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, you can use oh. memes to get closer to people, you know? <laughs> like, if you're not sure what to say, you can just send them a meme and then kind of gauge, like, their humor in that way. My, so, my other Brittany, favorite how do you neg gauge- somebody through a meme? <laughs> Uh, that's easy. <laughs> you oh, just send them shit. lots of memes that are like, oh, "I'm a piece of shit," and then be like, "This is you." <laughs> and then, <send> it to <laughs> and then re- you should and rewrite you- <laughs> the pickup artist, but for online dating. Yeah, I can do that. No problem. So you just send them nagging memes, and then you compliment them, and then build their confidence up in that way of like, "Oh, this person's really nice," because they're like. Uh, you're not a piece of shit (laughs) oh wow you are teaching people right now how to gaslight people with memes good job yeah yeah you you just want to make sure that they crave your like 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another fun thing to do, like if it's somebody you see every day, you can. Um, this is not really nagging. This is just more of like a <laughs> weird psychology sort of break. You bring them like candy or something like that, something that they really enjoy. And every time they see you, you give them like a piece of candy. Mm-hmm. And eventually you stop doing that. And then they just are really happy to see you and they don't know why. <laughs> is that how you trained all of your coworkers to be yes. pleased to see you? <laughs> yes. I make them lots of baked goods. I bring them cookies. And then the half of it's that, and the other half is intimidation. Everyone's too afraid of me to <laughs> go against me. So, you know, <laughs> I feel like this is bad. <laughs> that's reasonable. You're a fighty person. Well, <laughs> that's a great place to end. <laughs> this is my favorite topic about memes I've had in a long time. <laughs> All right. Well, bye, everybody. Bye. Boy. What? Are we hanging up now? <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>